All right. Yeah. How's it going? Are we rolling? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to Brad's Hair School. Are you excited to be here? I am so excited. And also, Miss Manny Quinn is excited to be back. She got a cute color last time. Yeah, she, she actually said that she's been loving the, the balayage and she said her date went really well and um, she's going on a second date. She, she liked you enough to come back to the salon and get, and get a haircut by you? That's a repeat customer, Brad. Your first repeat, Eric, congratulations. <laughs> Miss Manny Quinn is back. Eric is about to do his first haircut ever in his entire life, right? Is that true? Right, uh, ever, yeah. Which is weird. Why have you never done a haircut? I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, I've literally never done a haircut. I love how we grew up in a salon and you and John have never touched Okay, the hair. only haircuts I would do would I would like, I would like take the old mannequins and then just like cut them like really short with scissors and it would look crazy. So if you guys haven't seen our previous video where we taught Eric how to balayage highlight the same way we're about to do right now, which is he is in the room behind me. He is wearing an earpiece in his ear, as one does. And he is going to listen to my verbal instructions on how to give a haircut to Miss Manny Quinn. He has all the supplies he needs in front of him, However, I will not be able to help him in person. I will not be able to give him any real physical instructions. He will have to do everything sort of blindly by just following what I say. I'm very confident in my hair cutting abilities, even though I've never done it. And okay. I would also say I'm very nervous because I have no idea what I'm doing. Perfect. I love that. <laughs> Greet your client. Ask her what's up. How is life going? How's her boyfriend? Hey, Miss Manny Quinn. How are you doing today? Can I get you a coffee or tea? She doesn't want coffee or tea. She Guess actually what? wants a tequila soda. Uh, okay. All right, Miss Manny Quinn, it's coming right up. And she's caped. So I'm just gonna say before we start, please don't cut yourself. Okay. Try not to cut past the second knuckle. Just gonna put that out there, okay? Um, that's an important rule because uh, you can really slash yourself with these scissors. They're very sharp. You wanna know what kind of haircut we're doing today, Eric? Is it a bop? Yeah. It is? Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to cut a bob, Brad. <laughs> We're gonna do a layered bob, Eric, okay? A layered bob on Miss Manny Quinn bob. for her second date with the guy, or the woman, if she wants. Does that mean anything to you, a layered bob? A bob is like a short haircut, and yes. um, layers means it's like, it's kind of like a ski slope, like it goes up. Uh-huh, a ski slope. So I like a, heard a, that a, a short haircut okay. ski slope. Great. <laughs> So a lot of you guys wanted me to do the color while telling Eric how to do the color from the last video. So this time I'm going to show you how I would do the haircut in a pre-recorded video so I can show you guys what I'm actually trying to tell her to do and what Eric is actually doing, okay? Brad, I am excited. I don't even think they're gonna need the version of you doing it because <laughs> mine's just gonna be a 10 out of 10. Okay, so let's start off by combing all the hair back away from her face. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. it's actually not that easy to comb through, I'm not gonna lie. Brad, it's like, why is it so hard to comb through? Um, it's not. What'd you wash Miss Manny Quinn with? <laughs> the only the best of the best, that will be X amount of Project X shampoo and conditioner. Oh, thank God. And I, oh! I was so worried you washed her hair with anything besides that. Please. What else would I use? Uh, which comb are you using? Um, I am using the one that is evenly uh, spaced the entire way through. Oh, okay. So use one that has smaller yep. spacings and bigger spacing on one side. Put the, the end of the bigger side in the middle of her head in the front. So okay. where, follow her nose up to the middle of her scalp. Do I pick her nose on the way up? Yes. <laughs> I'm there. So you're then gonna follow the middle part all the way down to the nape of her neck. Does it have to be like exact? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you having difficulties with this? I am. Why is this harder than coloring, Eric, for you? I don't know. No. All right, is it parted? Yeah, I would, I would say it is. Two sides. Okay, so let's start on the right side. You're just gonna bend her head a bit forward. Miss it, Manny Quinn, I'm just gonna have to bend your head a little forward, okay? You are gonna take triangular sections. You're gonna wanna make one one nice triangle. So two halves of a triangle at the nape of her neck. Does that make sense? No. So you're it's split in half, right? The top of the head is split in half. Okay, so you're gonna go down to the nape of her neck. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and you're gonna wanna make one half of a triangle on one side and the other half on the other side so that you have one big triangle. You, you don't wanna be using a lot of hair. I think this is harder to explain than the color. Honestly, I thought I thought the haircut would be much easier. I actually think it's harder. There's no really creative freedom here. It's a lot of precise measurement. Miss um, Manny Quinn, don't you worry. We're gonna get it all sorted out for you. Uh, 
So you're gonna be taking half a triangle cutout on each side of the head in order to form a one medium-sized triangle. Where does the triangle start? Okay, start it about an inch up from the nape of her neck, so where her hairline ends in the back. Okay. And then make Wait. a half on one side and the other half on the other side so that when you pull them both together, those two sections make one larger triangle. This is your guideline. So every section you pull after this is going to be guided by this piece that you're cutting right now. So whatever length you choose for this section guides the entire haircut. So no pressure. Okay, so basically the entire like um, back of her neck is like in this triangle, right? Yeah. Wait, how short is this bob going to be? Maybe like a little below her chin. Here's the other complicated part. You're gonna have both the scissors and the comb in one hand at, this, at the same time. And Brad, you're, if you could see me right now, I actually have the comb and the scissors in my right hand. Work. Yeah. I love that for you. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now take your left hand, hold this section out, and then comb starting at the root and work it to the bottom. And then your left hand, like doing the balayage, is gonna work as your anchor. Oh, damn, I look like a friggin' professional. Okay, so <laughs> you're gonna cut below your fingers, not above. Okay, I'm actually a little nervous for the cutting. Yes, me too. Please don't cut yourself. We need to finish this video today. Go right below her chin, around there. Oh, damn, that's a lot. Yeah. Do you already cut? No, I haven't done it yet. Okay, so you got the, the section taut. Taut as hell. All right, so now you're gonna place it under your thumb on the hand that you're holding the hair with, so the left hand. The comb? Yeah, you sort of change hands now with the comb. So the comb now goes into your, oh, left, yeah, yeah. Into your left hand underneath your thumb. Now you're cutting below your fingers and you're not going past your first knuckle, okay? Okay, I just cut all the way across. Oh, I didn't even tell you to cut it yet. I know, I got nervous, it started. Eric. <laughs> I didn't even tell you to go. Damn, she already looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, usually you don't cut an entire section that large with one swipe, okay? Wait, and I don't go past what knuckle? Your first knuckle. You only have one knuckle. No, you have two. Oh, <laughs> so like the major knuckle. The first one. Oh, the little tiny, the little baby Where knuckle. Your finger bends. Okay, I'm just gonna even it out a little bit. Okay. It is even as hell. Actually, Brad, on a second thought, it's really not that even. <laughs> Eric, okay, please make it as even as possible. <laughs> this is your guide for the rest of the haircut, all right? No. Is, is her head tilted still? Oh, sh <laughs> Oh my God. Which way is it supposed to be tilted? Slightly forward. Yes, it is. So now that that's even, right? Hello? Yeah. I need some reassurance here. It is even as hell. Eric. <laughs> All right, what do I do now? Now we're gonna work on the other side and you're gonna take a small piece from the side you just did and carry it onto the other side and use it as your guide to cut the other side the exact same length. Cut small pieces at a time and keep using your guide as you travel around the head. Oh right? my God, I almost just cut my finger. Please don't cut past your first knuckle, Eric. You hear me? He's yelling. <laughs> You're going to cut yourself if you do if you do not follow my directions. Okay, don't cut past your first knuckle. Yes. That's like a little tiny yes. piece. Yes. You work with very small sections at a time or else it gets uneven and weird. All right, I think it looks really sassy and fun. I am making sure that everything is nice and wet, then scissoring it with my left set of fingers. Uh-huh. Damn, this is hard to do. This is way past my first knuckle. Eric, stop doing that. Brad, I don't understand. But like if I'm holding it and scissoring it, that means I can't, that means I do like a centimeter. Yeah, it's like a half an inch. It's like not a lot. No, it's not. All right, so I'm gonna check my work now. So what you do is you pull both sides down at the same time, the left and the right side with both of your um, pointer fingers and your thumbs. See if they're both the same length. They should end at the same time out of your fingers. <gasps> <laughs> What happened? <laughs> God, he cut some pieces. What happened? <gasps> While well, I was checking your pieces, the scissors were kind of pointed towards where the um, hair is in a bun and I kind of cut a little bit. How did you do that? I have no idea. 
All right, so it looks visually like it's all one length in the back right now, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now that we have our guide, this is gonna guide your, the entire rest of your haircut. We're gonna now take another section out on the, uh, let's do the right side. Sure. So you're following that exact same tri half triangle and you're just taking out another like half an inch of hair. I feel so bad about the piece that I got. Was it bad? No, you really can't tell. Okay, all right, you good? Um, I am... <laughs> Nothing, continue. Okay, so now let's work on one side at a time and let's cut small sections at a time. So you are gonna use your prior cut to guide you, like I keep saying. Okay. In this next section. So you're combing the guide that you just cut and the new section at the same time all together. All right? I just did a really nice cut. Yeah? How's your guide? Um, it's really good. It's guiding you? It, <laughs> I would say I've, I feel like I'm very guided. Okay, so perfect. You're gonna keep using that guide and you're gonna cut across the hair until you get to the last piece and just make it all even. And just take your time, please. Wow. Yo, Miss Manny Quinn is feeling really good. She's healthy. She's healthy. I'm getting rid of those split ends. Snip, snip, snip. And coming in for the final cut of the new section. Done. Perfect. Now check if those are even on both sides, the same process as before. They're roughly the same if I change, if I go at different speeds. Uh, <laughs> Rig. Does it look visually even? Yeah. I'm feeling so good. Ready for the next step. It's it's a thrilling step, it really is. Okay. You're gonna do the exact same thing again. So where would you say this next section is? Is it, is it kind of like beginning to be including the front hairs yet? Yeah. Yeah, it's going like behind your ear kind of? Yeah, no, above her ear. Above her ear, okay, cool. So it's still diagonal though, right? Yeah. All right, let's continue that, take that Next section out, cut it again using your guide. Let me know if you have any questions. Are your sections nice? My sections are so nice. Oh, you didn't hear that. <laughs> you need to follow whichever section you're working on, stand directly in front of that section. So you're constantly moving your body around the head. Okay, maybe that's what I'm missing. Yeah, if you were to stand behind the head and cut every section in that same position you're standing in, the hair would be short in the back and longer in the going front. What we're doing here is making a line all the way around her head that's symmetrical. Right. So you're gonna follow each section, stand right in front of it, and cut the piece of hair. It's really hard. I'm combing it down and I'm scissoring behind it, going right to where the my guide reaches the other pieces. Uh-huh. And I am only cutting to my second knuckle. Perfect. You didn't cut yourself yet. I'm very happy about that. No. Is it looking good? It's looking so fine. Hold on, my guide is telling me differently. Oh, is it looking even, looking nice? Oh, ready. This is gonna be a, this is like a textbook cut right here. Hold on. You can kind of tilt the head slightly to one side now and make sure it's just not like toppling back or forward. So your next section will probably be like a diagonal forward towards like the middle of her eyebrow. Uh. What are we seeing? <laughs> We're not seeing much, honestly. What do you um, mean? I am taking another piece of this section. It is approximately where, like I would say the end of her eyebrow. Okay, cool. I can see my guide. Yep, follow that guide, baby. Okay, I'm not gonna go past the second knuckle. Correcto. Wow, now I'm feeling really confident. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, my guide just kind of jumped up a little bit. Why? I don't know, Brad. Is the head still tilted to one side, to the side? No, she's like tilted forward a little bit. Oh, okay, see, that's not what you wanna do. What? Cause now when you put her head up, it's gonna be shorter in the front. Oh! <laughs> Why would it make more sense to tilt it to the side? Cause then when you tilt it back, it's gonna be shorter on the side. No, it won't. First of all, you're tilting it very slightly to the side just so you have a good view. But what will happen is the top layer will it overextend over the other layers, just the hair when you tilt it back up forward. All right, so we're just gonna have to do a little correction, uh, a cutting correction. Oh God, is it a lot shorter in the front? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, my guide's all kind of screwed up. Okay, I would say that that last section I just did was probably the best section I've done. You're getting better? <laughs> Wait, Brad. What? <laughs> it's really f***ed up. 
You have to listen, Eric. No, it's not that bad, Brad. Communication is key. No, Brad, actually, it's really even. Oh, what are you saying at this point? I don't even know. I don't, I, I don't it's know. It's even, it's not even. So, Miss Manny Quinn, what's going on in your life? Nothing. Yo, Brad, I'm not gonna lie, she's really quiet today. By the way, Eric, Miss Manny Quinn has her daughter's dance recital in 20 minutes. <laughs> Wait, so are you telling me she's a dance mom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so she's out of here in 15 minutes with a blow dry. Is she gonna yell at me? Yes. <laughs> Miss Manny Quinn, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. She's looking pretty bob-like, Brad. And where exactly is the length? Approximately an inch underneath her chin. Okay, cool. So should I make these ones a little longer, like a 90s cut? No, we want just a nice chopped bob. Oh my God, this one's really close to my hand. Snip, snip, snip. It's pretty good. Oh. And now, once you're done with that side, you're gonna repeat the entire process on the other side. Miss Minnie Quinn, you're gonna be on time for your dance recital tonight. Keep going, Eric, you got this. Miss Minnie Quinn can do it. is going to tilt this way. Oh, where did this little piece come from? <laughs> what is that? Hey, Brad. What? It's a little fucked up in the back. <laughs> I want this to look good, Eric. Me? What? Brad, this has my name on it. I'm just not really trusting my guide. I don't trust you or your guide. <laughs> so. So what kind of dance is your daughter into? Oh, hip hop? Oh, she nice. does jazz. <laughs> I've always wanted to do tap dance myself. She only does jazz, Eric. <laughs> For some reason, um, the front pieces are not as like um, evenly cut. All right, Brad, I am on the last section. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I think my thumb is too big for these scissors. It's a large thumb, Eric. Yep, and we have the last section coming up here. I'm gonna start calling her Bob because she has such a nice Bob. <laughs> How does it look visually? Very appealing. Yeah? Yeah. Yay. Hey Brad, this whole like, um, you know, start at the top and like make sure your hands like go all the way down at the same, I don't, that's kind of useless to me, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, cool. <laughs> but I think she looks good. Wait, so it's all cut? Yeah. Okay, so now we're just gonna do some light layering. Oh, Jesus. Okay, part the hair down the center again, wet it. All right, Brad, I have to tell her, right? She probably fell asleep by now. Oh, she definitely just woke up from all the water in her face. Okay, Miss Manny Quinn, we're gonna do some light layering. Okay. So, you're gonna take pie slices. Pie slices. Does that make sense? Not at all. You know what the apex of a head is? <laughs> No. It's the high point of the head. So if you lay the comb on the top of the head, you'll see where the highest point is. Got it. Okay, so pretend that's the middle of the pie. And so you're making slices all around that pie. Okay. I got a piece of pie back here. Okay. So you're combing it out 90 degrees away and you're holding it vertically with your with your oh. um, pointer and your index finger. And your index finger? Is that what it is? My, I thought I was bleeding, but I'm not. Oh, God. Get your fingers in there and clamp it down with your fingers. Okay, it's not really the bottom pieces, right? And so you're gonna hold it vertically, so your your elbow should be in the air. Oh, it's way up there, Brad. All right, great. <laughs> you're gonna cut upwards on that vertical. Okay. The length of the hair is the stuff that dropped. Yeah. And now you're just creating a bevel in the hair. So your first cut should be your guide, right? All right, I'm going in, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, but your first cut is not, not past your knuckle. Okay, you're cutting a little piece at a time and then you can comb it back out again and use that same guide and cut again. Oh. No, I think I'm doing this right. I can't wait to see what this turns out like. If you kind of like prop up the hair a little bit, like move it around, you should be able to see like layering. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, that's fine. All right, now, now you're gonna take those same small pie slices out of the entire head. And so you can actually use now a small part of the previous pie section you, you cut and bring it to the next section and follow that guide. All right, Brad, you're gonna have to walk me through that again because it, it seems like I remember, but I don't really know, so. All right, so you comb it out. Comb it out to 90 degrees, yeah. Your elbow's in the air, you're holding it out vertically from the head. Okay. Okay, and then you're cutting upwards. Okay, but the guide is nowhere to be found. Oh! Find your guide, Eric. Yeah, I don't know if this is coming out the right way. Uh, <laughs> how, how much have you already cut? I'm like at the front now. Oh, they're big sections, boy. <laughs> These are large sections. <laughs> so normally you would kind of travel. <laughs> what? Nothing, Brad. Keep going. I'm listening. All right, so typically I would kind of travel around the head, making a sort of rounded layering, but we don't got time for that. You aren't gonna understand what I'm saying anyways. So we're just gonna kind of do like a one step 90 degree layer and just give her some kind of a harsh, Layering 
I, I was also gonna tell you to over direct back when you get to the ear, but you kind of already went over the ear apparently, right? Yeah. Okay, well you probably have like a chunk missing now. How did you know? <laughs> because I am a hairstylist and I know. <laughs> See how like behind the ear, Eric, the hairline goes way up? Yeah. If you don't over direct and add a little bit of length there, you'll never have the same length as you do in the back. Okay. All right, so when you get to the ear on the other side, make sure you over direct slightly back, which means you're pulling the section 90 degree from the head and then kind of pulling it backward towards her neck. Did you finish the other side? Oh yeah, I finished the first side. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna have a few layers in the back here and we're just gonna take a little length off of that. Look at that nice layer. Brad. What? I'm pretty sure that the layers are gonna really screw me over. And we're just gonna go snip, snip. And you can see some nice layers in the hair. Yeah, the layers are looking good. Yes, I think. All right, and uh, they have she has layers going all the way around, Brad. Oh, she's done? Yeah. Well, that's it. Do I blow it out? So you blow dry it with the round brush. Hey, Miss Manny Quinn, mom. we're gonna blow dry you out right now, okay? She, she's a 50-year-old mom and she wants a mom bob, so please blow dry it accordingly. <laughs> okay, first steps first, I'm gonna put a little glitterati in her hair, oh, obviously, I mean, right? You have to put a glitterati in You have to. So Ooh. I'm gonna leave you to this, though. I'm gonna let you blow dry okay. and use the thing shears without me telling you what to do, because I think they're kind of self-explanatory. And I'm gonna come look at what you did when you're all done, okay? Okay. Good luck and don't. I'm going to do a little bit of thinning. All right, Brad, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna come see it. Come in. <laughs> Brad, it's like good, right? Stop holding it. <laughs> <laughs> no, check it. Stop. <laughs> I'm like, what did you? Don't make fun of me too hard because I tried really, really hard. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a, uh, the, the Candy Factory movie, what's the movie? Um, Willy Wonka. Wonka. <laughs> she looks like Willy Wonka. I tried to give her a finish like um, Anna Wintour. <laughs> Where it goes in. I mean, that's a nice one. Really? Why is the back so much longer? <laughs> all right, let's sit down, talk about this. All right, first of all, <laughs> what? I'm not gonna- This ends right here. The front ends up here. I know, I, I thought the longer pieces were in the front. What is that? I am gonna cry. <laughs> Bro, let's just say um, the hair cutting is a lot more technical than you the coloring is. You this better on the coloring. Okay, also these layers, I think you missed a few pieces, Eric. <laughs> okay, that was really hard. Bro, I mean, well, I mean, never mind. <laughs> oh. She's never coming back. Mini <laughs> Quinn, I'm sorry. So I think, I think where you kind of went wrong, Eric, is with the head tilting, I'm guessing. You tilted the head too far to one side. Uh, I didn't understand the head tilting, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then the layering, you just missed pieces. <laughs> you didn't over direct. Wait, where, Brad? You didn't over direct. What is over directing? See, this is, this would be not over directing. This is fully 90 it's not from the head. This is over directing back. Oh. So when you let it go, it has extra length. She hates you. Miss Manny Quinn, I'm so sorry. It'll grow back. <laughs> <laughs> you probably won't miss Manny Quinn. No. <laughs> Brad, give me a grade. So I'm gonna have to give you a C. I'll take a C. <laughs> I'll take a C. I feel like this is actually almost up to par with some kids in hair school. So <laughs> coloring is much easier, and hair cutting is so much harder. So you'd be more of a colorist. I'd be on hundo P a colorist. Yeah. All right. So Eric, we have a giveaway going on right now. The next month of giveaway. Really? Yes. What are we giving away? A trip to New York. Please. To get a Mondo makeover on my channel. And it ends on September 22nd. So if you guys would like to win a Mondo makeover, all you gotta do, show your love for X Mondo. Definitely follow us on X Mondo. Harass me Harass on me. Instagram. <laughs> and just show how much you want it, how much you deserve it. Post something and hashtag X Mondo, hashtag 
Mondo makeovers, and you'll be entered to possibly win a Mondo makeover. I'll be posting the winner on my Instagram on September 22nd. And so just to be very clear, that. I will not be doing the Mondo makeover, so your hair will look significantly better than this. Uh, I will be doing it. Make sure you follow Eric on Instagram at ericmono underscore. Follow me, BradMonoYZ, and follow my brand, XMono Hair, on Instagram. And also, check out our new channel. It's called Brad and Eric. Woo! If you like us together, which some of you for some reason do, then go on that channel and check out our videos. You we, see what we go there's, through. There's, there's some things that we've been through. <laughs> and, um... I think that's all. Check out the new shampoo and conditioner at xmonohair.com. It's called Project X and it's our everyday shampoo and conditioner and it's stunning. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.